Wow, it's been a long time since I've put up a video. It's been over a month. It's been so long, people are dropping off my channel. It's kind of scary. But it's not all good news. I shouldn't say that. I don't know where to start. I've got, you know, this far on the the lathe project. That hasn't changed. Not a whole lot here. I uh, fixed fix a tool post. And I uh, was going to move on to, well, I am moved on to, the headstock. You know, boy, not fun. First thing is, I don't know nothing about this metalworking stuff. So I had to find a place to buy the metal. The All the other stuff that I got for this, I got it at the Home Depot. And I'm sure I paid too much for it. But it was convenient. Well, I needed some one by well the thing calls for one by two and a half but i got one by three cold rolled i don't know where to buy that so i went on the internet and i found a place that i could uh buy it and uh turns out they have a uh an outlet close enough for me to pick it up. So I save a little bit of money on the shipping charges. And uh, they're a little bit more expensive than the other places I found, but it was a wash with the will call pickup. And it was lo not local, but within half an hour of the house, 45 minutes of the house. And uh, so I went there and I got... <sighs> This thing, which is uh, the smallest piece I could get, one by three, 12 inches. So I bought that. And then I cut off chunk for the headstock, which was uh, two and a half inches. It was supposed to be two and a half inches square. So I cut that down, which was an adventure because I don't know. I used uh, my uh, angle grinder and a cutoff wheel, and uh, I got that. Then I needed a shaft. Well, they didn't have any of that shafting at the place where I picked up the, the one by, and uh, so I found another place which was in, I don't know, Illinois or Pennsylvania, someplace like that. And they had uh, uh, the shaft. And I got uh, a one tool steel rod, half inch. And their price with shipping was less than the, the price from the other place if I could pick it up, just pick it up, the wheel call. So I bought that. Okay, I don't have a half inch drill bit. So I figured, oh, I'll be smart. I'll get a one under. So that's a 3164th drill bit. And I'll buy a half inch reamer. Well, how hard could that be? When I first started looking, I could not find a half inch reamer anywhere. No, well, I take that back. I found some half inch reamers for a million dollars. So it took me a couple of weeks to find suitable. Found it on Amazon. Half inch reamer. Okay, great. I figured I'd just use that on my tap wrench. No problem. It's a huge problem. It don't fit my tap wrench. So I gotta go buy another tap wrench. Bigger one. How hard can that be? 
Well, I don't know where people buy this stuff. I have no idea. There's a store, tool store, close to me. But they deal mostly with construction people. So, you know, they got every kind of hammer drill you ever want. So I went in there and I asked him, you got tap wrenches? And he goes, yeah, I got a couple of them. And he pulls down tap wrench. And he says, well, that's the one I have. It doesn't fit. So he's like, did you bring the tap with you? He said, yeah, it's a reamer. I brought it. He says, well, okay, well, let's go look at it and see what's what. And this stupid thing is, oh, I don't know. 32nd of an inch too big to fit in my tap wrench so he says well i got this one here for uh 70 dollars and i got this one here for 120 something dollars and he's like i don't want that stuff it's too expensive you got anything cheap he's like no i don't have anything and so i'm like well, well whatever i'll look around see what else you got maybe i'll find something interesting and he says well i got one and it's been sitting on a shelf forever. And if you want that one, I'll give it to you for a decent price. It's okay. So I got this monster. Got it for well, less than 40. Let's put that. I don't remember the exact amount, but it was. And he's like, you know what? Just give me the money. And. It's been hanging on the wall and go. It's like, okay, got a deal. So now I got wrench, tap wrench, got the reamer, got the drill bit. No problem. What else do I need? Well, I need a way to hold it once it's in there. So I found some stop collars. Got those. All right, let's go. Drill the hole. I don't know if it's 100% square or not, but drew the hole. The rod doesn't fit. Barely fit in there. So I worked it in there with plenty, plenty of lube, and I figured, well, you know, I'll get it in there, and then I can spin it around and wear the hole out. Well, I got this. This thing is stuck. I cannot get it out. doesn't move. I spin around two or three times. I had it checked up at the drill press just to keep it vertical. And I'm turning it by hand and it tightened up and it don't move. Can't pull it out. Can't push it in. Put this wrench on it so if I could twist it off, put it in the vise, nothing. It is stuck. I have no idea how to get this out. So that's where I am. I got the parts to fit this. Here, let's see. I'll put this, set this up here. Get that off. And I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, let's see if I can maneuver you around. Well, there it is. My little angle bracket. I need to drill a couple of quarter inch holes through here to mount that and then down here to mount that on there Just have the same arrangement with the screw going through the bottom of this here to tighten up down here so yeah I got that point but the son of a won't come out of the come out of here I'm at a loss I don't know anything about it so you know if anybody has a suggestion other than cut and run, because I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm open to suggestions on this stuff. Now remember, I have minimal tools for metalworking. As in, I got a couple of hammers. I don't even have a drift that big. But, we'll see. Well, that's my plight. I got... Yay! Nice hammer. That's about it. 
fortunately, because I had to buy a 12th inch chunk of this stuff, I had enough to redo it, even though I don't want to. And uh, things covered in oil. And on the plus side, I got this monster. If anybody has a suggestion on a way to get this SOB out of here, I tried hammering it. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm cutting around. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then the new shaft, I think I'm going to put it in the drill press. And uh, I got some memory and give it a quick with the emery cloth and clearance it a little bit. It's the only thing I can think of. Because I think my reamer is half inch. Well, I know my reamer is half inch. And the rod is half an inch. They're both the same. So, you know, it's a press fit. But you don't want a press fit. The other thing I was thinking of was uh, getting a bushing to put on either end of it. You know, oil light bushing. But I don't know if that's going to do anything or not. It should speed it up. But that means buying another drill bit. Because I don't have anything. This half inch. One under half inch. It's the biggest drill bit I have. All right. I hope that answers your questions. I hope you're as disappointed with this as I am. Because, man... I'm not equipped for this stuff. Everything I do is 20 minutes of figuring out what the hell. Where am I going to get that? What do I do with this? How is this going to work? I mean, uh, yeah. And then on top of that, it's been stinking hot here. It's been ridiculous. It's the end of September. It's supposed to be raining. And it's in the 90s. Today's the first day where the breeze is out again. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Please leave a comment. If you have a suggestion on what to do to get this shaft out of here, other than cut and run, because, you know, I'm going to do that anyway, I think. But, you know... Any suggestion, even if I can't do it, even if you say, you know, you need a $60,000 press, I, I will hear the alternatives and maybe something will click. But I doubt it because not much has been clicking lately. Um, thanks again. And we'll see you on the next one.